Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today I'm working on the Dotty About Flare Happy Holidays uh, Day 19 and the prompts for Day 19 are paper scraps, splatters and inked edges. I'm also following the sketch for Scrapper Sketch Sketchathon Day 19 and uh, this does qualify for scrap backwards layout too because I'm using some quite old um, stash as well as new stash on this layout. So it's a layout about trifle, English trifle, and I'm using basil cardstock, which is um, classic red. I had to look that. I had to like zoom in on that and uh, look at it through my phone because I can't, I can't actually read it. It's so small, but anyway, it's classic red. And the two papers that I'm using are Vicky Booty and Warm Wishes. Hello December and Holly Jolly. So um, I'm not sure which is which, but anyway, this one and then all the scraps uh, come from the other sheet. So that's those. Um, I'm using, I've got a few things here. So I've picked out these little um, cocoa vanilla stars and hearts. I've got some, uh, lots of nice flare badges, of course, from Dotty About Flare, some thread. I've got some Vicky Booting a heart there and these little silver stars came from my friend Moira they were in the lovely advent that she sent to me I've got inks for the ink splatters I've got this Heidi Swap white I've also got my red archival class carnation red archival ink for the edges ink in the edges and I've got my new tool here and uh, when I looked at it before it looked as though I'd already used it but actually they've all got this kind of brown tinge to them so uh, I've had another go with it and I did get on okay with it so I've marked this one as red so I'm going to give it a go. It's not quite, you don't get quite the same result as you do with the uh, the foam pads, the little foam pads that you can get. But um, yeah, I think it'll be OK. We'll, we'll give it a go. So what I've done is I've already mounted this, the pattern paper onto the cardstock. And I've also already mounted these uh, pieces here. So this is just red glitter card that I've had in my stash for a long time. It's the old fashioned type of glitter card that does shed the glitter. But a little tip for anybody is uh, Crafters Companion Spray and Shine. That's what I use. I just spray it all over and it stops the shed. Um, it's actually used to seal things and, and give it shine. You can get glitter ones as well, which I've got also. But that spray and shine one I use in particular for this, this kind of thing. Um, I've cut some strips from the uh, the pattern paper, the, the scrap sheet that I had left. I've cut some strips from that for the part of the design. And uh, I've got, for my title, I've picked out these silver pieces here, which when I looked at the packaging, it is American Crafts, so I wouldn't have known that. Um, and it's um, Rockabye, and it's from 2012. And I have several packs of this, and I was thinking, why have I got so many? It's really nice. It's obviously suitable for Christmas plus anything else. And when I looked at the label here, it was reduced to £2.90. Um, and I don't know if that looks like a TK Maxx label, but whether it is or not, I don't know. And I've no idea how long I've had them, but I've had them for a long time. Um, and 2012, wow, that's 10 years, isn't it? So they're definitely uh, qualified for scrap backwards. And I've also picked out this Alpha, which is this one. It's also, it's a current one, 2021, American Crafts, Tinseltown. It, it's possible that that does, that is connected to the warm wishes collection but because i don't buy collections as collections I, i'm not sure i buy everything separate so it, it may be with it being a christmas one and it's 2021 but i'm not i'm not 100 sure on that so um the sketch has got um the strips of paper uh here and here a smaller one here and a larger one here so that's what i'm going to do stick those down i do need to remember to ink some edges which i've forgotten to do <laughs> Um, I can't ink, I've stuck these pieces together so I'm not going to ink all the edges but what I will do is do the tops and the bottoms I think. quite like the idea of just doing that. Gives you that little bit of uh, added interest. But uh, I don't have to do the whole, all of it. Now these brushes are, they do work differently to the sponge ones and I am having to get used to them but um, I think they'll be okay once I get used to them. And like I say, we'll just do the top, the bottom, this one, and I'll probably do the edge of this one as well. Because 
that's on the the end piece like this this one on this side so that's that done I must remember to do those as well and now I come to stick those down so what I'll do is I'll stick this piece down I'm going to leave it's that way isn't it yeah so I'm going to leave a, a gap here so we get some of this this paper's really nice I didn't want to lose the whole pattern of this so I thought I'd put that down there and keep some of that pattern on the on the edge there. And just just down to that. Just overlap that slightly. Place that one down and then I've got this larger, well wider piece here to the end. Now this this does need to overlap. Yeah, I think that's fine. So I'm just, I'm not going to overlap that at all. I'm just going to edge that to the other piece like that. And then I think this piece needs to go, it does need to come over. That's quite low though, isn't it? I think I did want it low. I'm not sure if I wanted it that low. No, yeah, I think that's fine. Right, so these pieces here, I think... I think we'll do them like that somehow. I think this one. The top, bottom and the edge. That one. Just the top and the bottom of that one. And the top and the bottom and the edge of that one. So those three pieces can go there. Put those back together. I think we'll start off with this longer piece here on the edge. I think that was on the sketch. There were more strips on the sketch, but uh, I'm just going to do the three here. I think there was five on the sketch. And on this piece on the sketch, there were five, and I have done five on this side. So I'm just changing it slightly. That piece there. There's always so much extra extra added interest in uh, Vicky Booting's papers. There's always like a distressed look and uh, just really nice uh, uh, effects and techniques that she uses. So I think, I know this piece is going to go here because it's there in the sketch. There's nowhere else to go. So I'm going to pop that down. So these patterned papers here, the spotty ones, came from Moira, my friend Moira, and I think that um, they may have been from a Scrapbook and Cards Today sampler. I'm not sure, but I think that's correct. So I'm going to line that there so we've got a bit of white showing and still got some of the paper showing around the edge of everything. So I like that. And I've got these, I, did, I was thinking that I would use this large piece here somehow like that. And perhaps, I, I like the heart, this is from the Vicky Boone collection as well. And, uh, and the 24, because um, I think I made the trifle on the 23rd, I'm not sure. But um, it's just, I'm just kind of telling the story that, you know, I started eating the trifle on Christmas Eve this year. Because, you know, another one of those years where you can eat trifle on Christmas Eve rather than waiting until Christmas Day. Uh, <laughs> it's just, just a bit of fun, that's all. And I've got these pieces here. Now, this one's got hearts on it. This flare piece is little hearts and this one's just little dots. And I thought, um, and it does look a bit like the sprinkles that you put on the cake and also, you know, the, the bubbles or dots. I'm not sure what they are on the uh, paper. So I was thinking I'd probably put one of these here and one of these here. And I've got these two lovely stars from Moira. And I was thinking of they would form part of this uh, embellishment cluster here. Now I'm wondering whether I should have put those a little bit closer together. I'm not sure. Um, in the sketch, the title does go here. Uh, so I'm, I do need to remember to do that. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, actually, because my alphas are quite large. These alphas are quite large, aren't they? So um, I'm wondering whether I should just do it, run it along here, the title, actually. I'm thinking, even here, English, and then... Mm. Not really sure now. I do like that on there actually. That does look nice. These don't stick at all. They're so old. Well, look, like I say, they're like ten years old. And I must admit, looking at them, I didn't think that they were American crafts. It's only when I looked a bit closer at the packaging. 
I suppose back in the day when I bought these, I probably didn't really know much about brands. Now I was thinking that I would um, use this colour here. And I've checked and I have got all the letters to do the try for. I mean, I, I suppose I could put it across here, couldn't I? I think that might look quite nice. Now these ones I don't think are very forgiving, so I have to be careful how I pick those up because I don't want them to um, bend, you know, um, crease. Oh dear, I may have just creased that one already. I'm not sure. T R I F L E. T R I F L E. So there's no kind of middle bit really. I'm just going to place that really lightly down there. Once I get the other pieces, and try and remember to or try and spell it correctly without writing it down. It's, that that colour is very pale, isn't it? More ordinarily, I would go with a um, brighter colour, but uh, I don't know. I'd kind of pick that out to match the flare badge and just some of the other colours. I thought it looked quite good with. And it is, you know, there's lots and lots of bright colours on this layout. So, hmm, I think I actually do like that. Covering a little bit of the photo, but that doesn't matter. I think you can still get the, uh, you can still see what it what it is on there. Just smooch those a little bit, get them a bit better, placed a little bit better. They're quite, they're not um, graphic you know, alphas, it, you wouldn't really notice if they weren't very straight because of the design of them, but it'd be nice to get it looking a little bit uh, straight towards the end, the bottom of the photo there. Just move that one over slightly. You know, I'm going with that. I do like that. Pleased with that. I'm pleased with that. Now, even though the title's up here in the sketch, it's uh, it doesn't matter. It's... Uh, now then I want this to go here, so I'm going to put this at the bottom here, just to raise it up slightly, and I'll probably need another one. I haven't got another larger one of those, it'll have to be a smaller one. On the top, on that there. I think there is a little bit of layer in here with the glitter card and the one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So uh, that does have, you know, I'm thinking, because it looks as though it's got I mean, it has got more layers. I think another one of those might help it to look. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks really straight actually. Um, it looks the correct height. I mean, the the, the height looks uh, the same on this side as on this side as this side because obviously it would dip if there wasn't enough depth there. I think I do like that there, like that. Um. I do need to do some writing on here. I'm not sure where that's going to go. But I might have to try and do it on here. This bit here, or, hmm, yeah, not sure. I just want to say, well, what I said about eating trifle on Christmas Eve. I'm going to stick that down because um, that's where I want it to go. And I, and it looks, I really like that. I really like how that looks. Did I take that? Yeah, I did take the uh, sticky bit off. I'm just wondering now whether I need to put one here. I think I do. Because although it's flat to the photo, there is obviously a ridge on here. So it, I think one layer. Normally the XL flare, you do need two anyway. So just giving it one, I think will work. With it being already on top of those layers. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go with this one too. Just there. So that's the embellishment cluster. In the on the sketch, there's a rainbow and a circle, which could be a large flare badge. Oh, that is moving a little bit. Um, but I, I'm, I don't do rainbows, so uh, mine is an interpretation of the sketch. Change the rainbow to the heart. So I'm not sure if these are if these, these have adhesive on them. I should really know by now. I don't think they do. Still. <laughs> Pulled a bit off now, never mind. I'm going to put that there. Uh, I don't want it to, it could nudge that if it covers it, but I don't, oh, mind you, I said that, it doesn't really matter, does it? I think it looks okay like that. Yeah, I think I like that. And I like these as well, so 
not sure whether, oh yeah it has, put that one there, this one at the top here, I'm wondering now whether I should move those together, no no I think I want to leave them, put that one there, Dots to this, so um, I'm not sure about the people who aren't in England or the UK, but uh, trifle is a popular dessert here, obviously. And some of you may be familiar with it from the Friends episode <laughs> how not to make it, <laughs> but um, I think it's uh, it is my favorite dessert for sure. Only really have it at Christmas. Maybe birthdays, but you know, usually at Christmas. And um, I, I've got celiac disease, so I have to follow a strict gluten-free diet. So my traditionally you would make a travel with what we call sponge fingers. It's kind of a very light sponge, um, and you'd use that for the base. But I can't. You don't really get gluten-free versions of that. So um, I just make an ordinary sponge, gluten-free sponge, and. Uh, do that myself you know it, it, it's it's just the same it's no different and, it's, and I love it so no problems there right so I think we need to add some spatters don't we we did the ink edges we've got the paper scraps plenty of paper scraps these were paper scraps as well these were paper scraps and all these we've got the embellishments um, and now we need to add some splatter. I didn't know what, I just thought I'd add a little bit of this white splatter just, just so that there's splatter on the page. I didn't want to add sort of red or gold and I thought the white would be quite nice. So we'll just add a little bit here, I think. Uh, I might cover the photo though. Have we got something to cover the photo with? I think we have, just that. This is a photo printed from my Canon selfie printer. Almost all my photos are printed from my Canon selfie printer. And they're pretty indestructible, to be honest. And you can wipe things off of them. But, you know, it's still nice to avoid it if you don't need, if it, if you don't, uh, need to... Uh, if you know what you're doing, you can cover it. It's better, isn't it, than wiping it off after. I don't, I'm not sure how this will dry. I think it'll, you will see it, but it'll be quite subtle. I quite like it there. Just wondering whether to add a little bit here as well. Yeah. I do have to shake these bottles up quite vigorously and for quite some time, which I haven't done. So I'm hoping that uh, it will have mixed properly. I think it will. Get a little bit on one of those dark coloured ones there. I think just in those places at the top there. Yeah, it's quite light down here, so probably won't see it as much. Right, I think that's uh, the design done. I just now need to think, uh, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of writing here. I thought about it and I decided to do it here, and I've just used my ruler and my um, uniball pen to just draw these lines, and I'm just going to put uh, 20, 21, dash, another year to have trifle on Christmas Eve. I'm sure anybody who's lived through 2020 and 2021 will uh, know what that means. So um, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like have the tree. I would um, add some thread to these uh, flares here so um, I'll just do what I normally do and just put a few dabs of glue around just to catch it catch a little bit of the thread and then it'll, it'll all stay in place and um, I'll just separate this I just this is my uh, cross stitch thread which I just separated the threads before I started recording it was just one piece and you separate it into uh, single threads which is six threads actually that's not going on as I would have liked it but uh, 
<laughs> I think it'd be okay. There you go. Try again. Try and make that look nice. If we can. I think on this occasion I would have liked to have actually put it underneath the uh, flare, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with doing it this way. It's fine. We'll tidy up a little bit if we can as we go. Not that it needs to look tidy or anything, but uh, just, you know, so it's pleasing to my eye. Okay, I think that looks okay. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, it's down. Try this one. When I uh, packed up my little bag to go on my little retreat that I went on in December, um, I actually found another glue in my crop bag, another one of these glues, because this one's almost empty and I'd bought myself another one. And uh, yeah, I found a full one in my crop bag. I mean, I, I will use it, obviously, but uh, I don't get through glue that often. Could have uh, managed for probably, you know, several months with the other one. But uh, it's fine. Yeah, I hadn't been to crop. I haven't been to a crop since uh, the beginning of 2020, obviously, and I missed out on a couple then because of bad weather. Because I live on the Isle of Wight, so my crop is on the mainland, and I have to get ferry over there and a ferry back. And sometimes it's um, obviously in the beginning of the year, it's dark and the weather. We had a couple of storms come. It's hard to remember pre-COVID, but we had a couple of bad storms coming at the beginning of that year. So I kind of, I think the last crop I went to was January. Um, and I wasn't able to go to February or March and then Covid hit so yeah I haven't been to quite for a long time so my bag was kind of just you know as it was <laughs> I'd not touched it really right I think we're finished so um, yeah I'm pleased with that you can see the splatter it's quite subtle but I like it and uh, yeah I'm pleased with this so um, like I say this is the happy holidays day 19 for Dotty About Flare, paper scraps, splatters and inked edges and it's also the sketch for Scrap a Sketch, Sketch a Thon and, uh, like, and also it's going to be a scrap backwards layout because I've used really, uh, this glitter card is very old, these alphas are very old and um, I think almost, every, I think everything else on this layout is probably new and most of it will probably be new from last year um, but yeah, I have still managed to get some older stuff on the layout so uh, once again, thanks for joining me. Take care and I shall see you next time.